Welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we will look into the questions from the chapter called Number Systems. The given question is state whether the following statements are true or false. Give reasons for your answers. Every integer is a whole number. So guys, let us find out if every integer is a whole number or not. The given statement is every integer. The given statement is every integer. Every integer, integer is a whole number. Is a whole number. This is what the question has given. This is what the statement is. Every integer is a whole number. So this is true or false. We need to find out if this is this given statement is true or false. If it is true, then why? If it is false, then why? We need to state our answer. Now, guys, in order to answer this question, in order to answer this question, you could see here two things are in place. One is integer and the other one is whole number. So there is a comparison between integer and whole number. Now, guys, let us refresh our mind. What do, what do we mean by integer and what do we mean by whole number? If you look here onto the screen, I have posted here the definition of integer as well as whole number. The definition of integer as well as whole number. I know we all know this, but, but to brush up our mind, I have posted here the definition for integers as well as whole numbers. So what does the definition of integer says? The definition of integer says that integers are the whole integers are the numbers which can be positive, negative or zero, but cannot be a fraction. So integers are all the numbers positive, negative and zero, but it does not include it does not include fraction. Just as simple as like it does not include fraction, does not include fraction. This is the main difference here. It does not include fraction. So what are fractions like 0 0.7 or 0 0.6 or 1, point, 1 upon 2 or 3 upon 5. So these are all fractions. So this, these things it does not include. These things it does not include. Apart from this, it includes negative numbers, 0 as well as positive numbers. So this is the definition of integers. Now coming to the whole number. Whole numbers are all positive numbers including 0 but cannot be a fraction or negative number. For example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So guys, you could see that the whole number does not include, does not include, does not include fractions and one more thing, fractions and negative numbers, fractions and negative numbers. So you could see that it does not include fractions and negative numbers. That is, if I come to the fractions, then the example is 0 0.5, 0 0.4, uh, 7 upon 2 or 1 upon 9. So these are, are fractions and also it does not include negative numbers. It does not include negative numbers. Negative numbers means minus 1, minus 2. So like this, it does not include these things. Now, what is the main common difference between this? The main common difference between this is that maybe between integers and whole numbers, the main common difference between integers and whole numbers you could see is that it does not include negative numbers. The, the main, sorry, the main difference between integers and whole numbers is that they both do not include, they both do not include fractions. This is the main difference, common difference you could see. And the other difference, the whole number does not include is the negative numbers. Now, after understanding the integers and whole numbers, let us look into this statement. The statement is saying, the statement is saying every integer is a whole number. Every integer is a whole number, true or false. Now, guys, after looking into the statement and after looking into the definitions of integer and whole number, we can say that the statement is saying that every integer is a whole number. For example, from the example, let us pick up one integer, minus 3 or minus 2 or minus 1. So we can say that if I pick up minus 3, but minus 3 is not a whole number. Minus 3 is only an integer because whole number does not include negative numbers. So every integer is a whole number. This statement is false. So we can say that the given statement is false. The given statement, I ho hope guys you understood this. We can say that the given statement is false statement is false because the given statement is false because because minus 5 for example minus 5 is an integer is an integer but this is not a but this is not a whole number 
but this is not a whole number this is not a whole number the question well, the statement was checking with us is like every integer is a whole number so this cannot be every integer cannot be whole number why because if we consider minus 5 minus 5 is an integer but this is not a whole number so for that reason our conclusion is that the given statement is false hope guys you understood this but still if you have any questions or doubts on this please reach out to me in the comment section of this video definitely i will get back to you once i see your comments guys if you really like my videos please subscribe if you really like my videos i would request you to kindly subscribe and also let your friends know this will motivate me to create similar videos in the future thank you bye